let's get this straight, man. Neither Laura or I need your advice on how to run our future. And how can you call yourself a friend of mine when you are telling my wife to leave me? I am not telling your wife to leave you, nor am I butting in. I simply told her to follow her instincts. Listen, man, neither Laura or her husband need your advice. How do you think she feels living on this, this scow? Well, I hack out walls and you practice a mind-reading act with a Christmas tree. Oh, it's yeah. about as boring as, as flat beer. You know what? I'm so self-centered. You'd notice that. You're acting like a trappist monk. Oh, you. May I come in? Oh, no, I don't think so, but you're here, so speak. I'm Peter Mann. The Acme Liquor Distribution Corporation. That's correct. I understand you're turning this yacht into a nightclub. As a matter of fact, you've already got your liquor license, am I right? Very. Here's one for you. You're a front. I represent a large organization, that's true. Oh, I see. Is that large organization headed by a spud named Frank Smith? I don't believe I'm familiar with a Mr. Frank Smith. However, the Acme Corporation will be your sole source of supply. Any liquor you need, vodka, bourbon, scotch, champagne, you name it, we supply it. I love <clears> it. <throat> don't you love it? Takes all but the I have a it. feeling that we're not quite to the bottom of this pit. What is the price? $120 a case. <laughs> Hang on, you're this short-circuited by uh, my hearing aid. I could have sworn you said uh, 120 a case. I did. You're a funny guy, Mr. Uh, what was it again? Man, but please call me Pete. I'd rather call you idiot. I can get that kind of booze at that kind of price from any liquor store in this town. That's retail, man. You're missing the point, Mr. Spencer. It wouldn't be our booze. Now, if the price worries you, there's a very simple solution. <laughs> I knew there would be. What is it? Charge your customers more per drink. Oh, oh Robert! Why didn't we think of this? Oh, hey. Buddy, we're not thinking well. Partner, I, it's so simple. I feel stupid. I mean, rip off the customers. Oh, I, I, of I'm glad you fellows see it that way. Yeah. Oh, we, we catch on fast. Now, yeah. do you catch on fast? Out! Are you saying you don't want to do business with us? Loud and clear. Uh, listen, pipe yourself ashore, Pete. Yes, oh. in other words, get hey. the hell off my yeah. boat, Give man. Give me a bad name. All right, I had hoped I wouldn't have to say this, but I can see I must. If you refuse to buy your liquor from us, and I repeat, all of your liquor and only from us, that could be a very costly mistake. Ooh. May I speak plainly? I thought he was. I can be much plainer, Spencer. Uh, go ahead. We're not very bright. Unless we do business, I promise you, you will regret it. You will really wish you'd play ball with me. Well, this changes everything. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Perhaps we should ask him to sit down and talk. Yeah. Would you sit down and talk? Uh, stay for a second, Pete. Sit down. Tell us all you know. Yeah. Have a cigar. Now, let me get a handle on this. Now, as I understand it, either we buy all our booze off you for 120 a case, or we'll be sorry. Is that the gist of it? You will be very sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Well, you must excuse me. I don't grasp things as quickly as my international partner. When you say that we'll be sorry, just how sorry will we be? Let me put it this way. There have been one or two bars who've decided not to do business with us. You wouldn't know these places because, unfortunately, they no longer exist. Run a bad luck, huh? Very bad luck. Oh. And so near their opening, too. I remember one place, a very good-looking club, too, but... Exactly one week after opening night, they had a fire. <gasps> Nothing minor, I hope. Burned to the ground. Then there was another. A charming man ran it, but he too decided not to buy from us. Good golly. Not a fire. No. A rather sudden death in the family. Uh, these are hard times. That's why it pays to have insurance. Mm. Yes. And insurance is, of course, buying liquor from you. I don't believe I could have put it better myself. Now, may I assume we have a deal? Oh, I think we know what to do. Mm. Don't you, Robert? Ah, absolutely, partner. Do you think we should do it now? No time like the present. Yes. A one and a, a two, two and a three. 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 Have a nice time. Goodbye. 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 I needed that. I did, too. Oh, uh, you know, I think we forgot to ask him something. What? Can he swim? You were here early. How lovely. Thank you, thank wow, you, thank you. what a cake. Mrs. Grant, that's gorgeous. Did you make it yourself? <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you. And I want you both to remember 
to keep your fingers out of it till after the I do. Hey, do I look like a person who would eat cake early? Both keep your what? fingers out of it. I'm going to go see the flowers. Silly person. Isn't it terrific? I was this close. I just almost cried. I no, Mom, Mom. I don't believe you. Honest to God, sometimes you behave just like a little child. I know, I know. I feel like a child, and it's wonderful. Do you? Yeah. You know, that's funny that you should say that, because all the way over here, I was thinking to myself, my mom and dad are getting married, right? Yeah. So how come I feel like the mother of the bride? I do. <laughs> and, and I also feel like the mother of the groom. It's really weird. <laughs> I know what you mean. I was just, I was sort of thinking along the same lines today. I was thinking, just a couple of weeks ago, I was the mother of the bride, and I was a little bit nervous. You can understand it. <laughs> and today, I'm the, I'm the bride, and I'm panicking. <laughs> You got me, too? No, I, I really don't. I have a wish for you, though. What? Come on, you know what it is. I don't even have to say it. Do you have any idea how terrific it is for me to know that my parents are getting back together again? And it wasn't easy. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's so beautiful. I just want you to be happy. That we will be. I promise you. Is that dumb? Oh, no, no, that's great. I love it. Okay, listen. You, you could be a big help. Uh -huh. Go inside, get your father, take him down to where those big poinsettia trees are, and keep him facing the French doors, and then I'll sneak through the room and up the stairs, okay? Okay, all right, I'll do that. Are you okay. sure this is not stupid? No, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. Okay. That's for luck, okay? Ready? Okay, thanks a lot. Peter, great. Come. Oh, okay. Dad, hi. Hey, hey. Isn't this exciting? Yes, it is. I'm so happy for you. The yard looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Uh, so what, you and Mom are going to be there? Is that where you're going to be? Well, no. What we really thought we'd do is be inside here. See, yeah. see the flowers? We're going to do it right here. Oh, I thought you were going to come in from... No. Get the ring. Start with... Oh. Hey, look at my best hi, man. Hi. You are very handsome. Thank you. Yeah, you look terrific. Very yeah. grown up. Well, the best man has to be grown up. But he has to wear this dumb necktie, and I don't know how. Well, that's where I come in handy. Okay. Over here. About face. Sit down. And I'll attempt to... Oh, boy. Okay. Dr. Rick, mm. I still have a ring. I kept it in my pocket all day, and I was holding on to it also. <laughs> you are something else, guy. Right and up. he has looked at it every five minutes. Well, they couldn't get married without me and the ring. Right. That is absolutely true. You know what I think? I think that your best man could probably use a little nourishment to get through all this. How about uh, maybe some brownies that I have in the kitchen? Would that be all right? They're my favorite. <laughs> now, how do you suppose I guess that? <laughs> Not too tight, is it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll finish you later, guy. Okay, see you later, Dr. Okay. Would you excuse the groom? Then I'll go upstairs. I'm trying to make myself a little um, presentable, a little better than I am. Handsome, maybe. You already look handsome. Great. Where's my suit, Tom? Did you see where I left my suit? It's probably. Uh, hey. I left it up here, sir. <clears throat> Amy, your hair. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Who did it? I did it myself. I, I looked at a picture in a magazine. You don't think it's too much, do you? No, no, it's great. I think it, it. I think it's you. It's beautiful. Thanks. Doesn't this room look beautiful? Very, very beautiful. You know, I really love wedding. You want to know why? Another chance to catch the bouquet. Well, that too. Mm -hmm. Except that at a wedding, everybody is so nice and dressed up and so happy. And well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that on a wedding day, it's not just the bride and the groom that are happy, but everybody is.